Uh, what about uh, uh, the other uh, hallmark uh, nutrient sensing? Is this related in some way to uh, senescence, the ability of uh, functioning correctly? You know, nutrient signaling is a, is a key function in the body. And this comes back to the TOR pathway and other signaling pathways that have been identified that affect aging. And maybe it goes even further back to the idea of calorie restriction, extending lifespan, or intermittent fasting, extending lifespan. Um, the suggestion is that, you know, you, your body needs to respond to the right, have the right amount of nutrients in it, and your cells need to respond in the right way to optimize your lifespan. If we think about it from a, a mouse in a cage perspective, um, generally with those mice, they're getting all the food they want. Whenever they want to eat, the food's right there. This is not how a mouse normally lives its life in the wild. <laughs> Looking for food is a big challenge for a mouse. And actually, humans are pretty much the same. You know, we, throughout almost all of our evolutionary history, our problem wasn't having excess food all over the place. <laughs> our problem was getting enough food uh, to eat. And now we're in an environment where we're eating way too many calories. And it's been shown in the animal models, and there's accumulating data in humans, that if you do what's called calorie restriction, which is to bring the nutrient intake down to levels that are just above malnutrition, so you're getting everything you need, uh, but not too much of anything, that it probably will enhance lifespan. Certainly it does in a mouse or a rat, uh, probably in a human. So, um, you know, I think that's, yeah. that's a great model. And it's, um, it's very hard to do, though, for the average person who's not a nutritionist, eating a very low caloric intake while still getting the right balance of macronutrients is a bit of a challenge. So people have turned to intermittent fasting. But coming back to your question, um, there are pathways in the cells that respond to these nutrients. And so this is things like rapamycin have overlapping effects with calorie restriction because it turns down this protein called activity of this protein called TOR. Um, and TOR is the protein or one of them that, that senses the amino, amino acids and carbohydrates in the environment and tells the cell what to do. So when you have an overabundance of nutrients, you activate TOR to a very high level and it tells the cells to rapidly divide and turn down stress response pathways. And when you have low nutrients, it tells the cells to not, don't divide as much and turn up stress response. And it seems to be that state that's great for healthy longevity. Um, I think that the key thing to remember is all of these things are dynamic pathways. You, when, you're, when you're going through development, you need TOR activity to be high. You're making a lot of cells. You're growing. You're getting bigger. You need TOR signaling. Uh, when you become an adult, you're not growing anymore, so you don't need as much TOR signaling. You need it after a meal when there's high nutrients, or if you get a wound on your body locally, you need to activate TOR to repair that wound. Uh, but in a, most of the time, you probably need a relatively low state of TOR. So you have a regulation. TOR has a basal state and an activated state. The problem with aging appears to be that the basal state of TOR signaling goes up, so you can't turn it off anymore. So you have sort of rampant signals for nutrient signaling going on all the time. What rapamycin seems to do is to restore that dynamic balance so you can turn have the lower basal state, and that's good for longevity. So I think what we're trying to do with nutrient signaling is to preserve the normal regulation that exists in a youthful state that gets, a, gets lost as we get older. Yeah. And, and, and that seems to be key. And it, certainly that links to inflammation. It links to cell senescence. It links to pretty much all of the other proteostasis, all of the other hallmarks and pillars.